In this video, I'll be going over how to identify marmots and prairie dogs, our largest squirrel species in Montana. So say you have a skull, and you figured out that it is a squirrel because it is cyromorphic and it has the post robo process. The next step is to look at the size. Uh, the marmots that we have have the greatest length greater than 65, and once you figure out that it is a marmot then, the way that we tell these two apart is looking at the nasal sutures. So you can see this marmota caligata has like a straight across line there, versus here, there's an arch to the nasal sutures kind of right where my fingernails are on both of the skulls. So that pretty quickly lets you know which marmot you're looking at. One other thing about marmots compared to prairie dogs is the tooth rows here are more or less parallel. So you can see one side of the row of teeth is parallel to the other side. In comparison to our prairie dogs, which you can see the teeth rows converge in the back, so they're not parallel, they swing inward and angle towards each side. So prairie dogs, greatest length 55 to 65 milliliter, uh, millimeters. So smaller than the marmots, Larger than all the other ground squirrels, overlaps in size with some of the largest tree squirrels. Um, as we will see later, talking about tree squirrels versus ground squirrels, um, you can distinguish these prairie dogs from the tree squirrels because this is more triangular. You have not so parallel zygomatic arches for both of these. So very clearly, a ground squirrel a big ground squirrel within this range, and looking at the teeth, we know that both of these are prairie dogs. Now, how do we know which prairie dog? Well, let me get these sorted out. Okay, we're gonna be looking at the zygomatic arch, this right here, specifically this bit right there, the bit sloping down. And if you have these right next to each other, you can see that this one, Sinomis leucurus, the white-tailed prairie dog has a thin zygomatic arch, thin jugal, also another word for the zygomatic bone. This one, it's thick. So right there, kind of where my fingers are touching, you can see thin versus thick. Sinomis leucurus versus Sinomis ludovicanus. For the skins then, let's talk about marmot skins. We have here, this is the hoary marmot. Has black feet, kind of yellow or whitish, grayish belly and neck area. But especially these black feet, like little boots. Versus the other marmot, Marmotus blackaventris here. Yellow belly and not especially booted feet. And less of the kind of light whitish gray. For our prairie dogs, both of our prairie dogs are kind of sandy brown colored and relatively large compared to other squirrels. Um, but if we look at the tail, you can see that the tail tip on the white-tailed prairie dog is white, and the tail tip on the black-tailed prairie dog is black. 